Um, so I was sitting around yesterday doodling and listening to a YouTuber I discovered recently named Dina Orland. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, you should check out her channel. Her videos are really nice to work along with. She was doing a challenge in one of these videos that was um, from an Instagram account called at Ghost Puff and it was 22 tiny houses and I was drawing along with it because it seemed pretty fun. So um, I did it last night and I'm gonna paint them today. So here are my 22 tiny houses I drew. I could have left it at that, but I decided to paint them for the sake of this video. And what I'm hoping that you get out of this is some inspiration to try this challenge or another one of your own choosing. There are so many out there and I think they're a really great way to get yourself excited and stimulated and um, maybe get you out of a rut. But most importantly, a way to get you to pull out your sketchbook. If I was a beginner or a more occasional journaler, I would just use this as a means to fill a sketchbook over time. The important thing about art challenges is to pick one and set a deadline. They can be flexible and adapt to your life and skill level. So set some grand rules, set a goal, and make it attainable. You want to be able to complete the task. It's encouraging when you reach that goal and it will motivate you to keep going and find a new one. And hopefully along the way you get some inspiration and you grow. If you're active in any art community online, I'm sure you've run into Inktober. It's the mother of all art challenges, probably the one that started it all. And although I think it's an amazing challenge and um, I think everybody should try it at some point, it is a very demanding challenge and although it doesn't sound like much one ink illustration every day is a bit of an endurance sport so like anything you have to work up to it and I think that a lot of people fall off the wagon because they don't know what they're getting into and they don't realize how much work it's going to be and then not completing a challenge yeah it's just super discouraging so I think if you're going to start with these things consider where you are in your art journey <laughs> and um, pick something suited to your skill level don't overwhelm yourself you know I think that this particular challenge is an excellent place to start because um, they're tiny, first of all. So it's a tiny house. It's a tiny house challenge. So in the title there, that means it's really small. Don't, it, whatever you can fill in a two inch um, box, basically, you know, you can make it as big as you want. And if you don't think you can do 22, do five. Say I'm gonna do five and pick the top five that you like. I did 22 little houses, tiny houses, and out of those almost two dozen little drawings, I think there might be maybe three ideas that I could expand on and maybe turn into something more. And those are pretty good odds. So, you know, that's another good reason to stick to 
a longer kind of theme just to know that like sometimes you fail sometimes it works out and that's just the name of the game so how do you adapt a challenge to your needs or your level of drawing ability uh, I would say keep it simple or overcomplicate it <laughs> so say for example with something like this you could just be like well it's an underwater house I'll draw a house but if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more you can draw the place that the house exists in and maybe even the person that lives there and do a little bit of world building but remember don't get over your head the other thing that I like about challenges is that it makes you draw things that you might not ordinarily draw we tend to draw the things that we're good at drawing or the things that we've drawn before but getting good at drawing means drawing everything and um, when you're kind of in control of of what you decide to draw you don't always push yourself in that way so I think that they're great for introducing you to new themes and maybe even new loves I hope you found this encouraging in some way and if not uh, you just enjoyed the little paintings that I made uh, I am doing another challenge on Instagram I found a great account called at Jake Morrison art and he's doing a challenge called spirits and mortals um, it's a really cool list and if you're, if you're a fan of fantasy I'll put a link in the description box below so you can join me over there if you're so inclined and otherwise um, I hope you find the challenge that challenges you and um, just keep keep it in mind that you know you want to get to the end that's the point so do what you can to get yourself there and let's not try to sprain ourselves it's a bit of fun Thank you for watching. I hope you join me for the next video and until then, have fun painting. Bye!